This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now that we've talked about implementing and configuring IPsec for network traffic, we need to understand the tools at our disposal for monitoring IPsec activity. And Windows provides utilities for that purpose, and they're very useful for a variety of reasons. Number one, if we've taken the time to implement IPsec and created these connection security rules, we'd like to make sure that they're actually being enforced. We'd like to make sure that not only are they being enforced, but the appropriate authentication types and levels of encryption uh, are, incurring, uh, are occurring. We can use this to determine the number of connections that are being used that utilize IPsec, and then we can use it to assist in troubleshooting problematic connections. You know, problematic connections often are related to incorrect encryption or authentication settings on either side. And so the inability to come to terms in a security association. And the monitoring node can help me to dis, uh, decipher that. The tool chosen for monitoring may depend on the client operating system or the server operating system in question because not all of these are available. For instance, for Windows XP and higher, we have something known as the IPsec monitor. Administrators can monitor this locally. They can also uh, remotely connect to computers. It's just an MMC snap-in and view the current policy in use. You can also view current security associations, both quick mode and main mode statistics. IPsecMon was a command line tool used only in Windows 2000. It's a reduced level of information, primarily just used for troubleshooting. And then new to Windows Vista and later operating systems is the Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. And it does incorporate IPsec activity and configuration in with the firewall rules. So not only can we create the connection security rules, but there's a monitoring node there where we can see active connections, security associations, protocol statistics, uh, and the like. We can also enable detailed internet key exchange tracing using NetSH, although that's most likely for troubleshooting uh, purposes. Now, let's keep in mind, uh, th so the the tool is going to depend on the operating system, as we said, and we want to keep in mind uh, some additional considerations. When we're using the IPsec monitor and MMC snap-in, it does include enhancements. Those enhancements will allow me as an administrator to determine the actual policy that's in effect locally or uh, on a remote system. And I have some additional options. I can modify the refresh interval to increase the rate that statistics are coming in instead of me forcibly refreshing every time. Uh, I can allow DNS name resolution for IP addresses. Uh, that provides additional info. The computer names are often standardized in most organizations and so I can tell better based on a name who I'm communicating with than if it's based on an IP address. We can monitor computers remotely. Again, we said that. Now, remote management does have to be turned on in the Windows firewall or the firewall disabled for that to be possible. There's two categories. you got main mode and quick mode. Main mode monitors the initial key exchange and security association uh, and helps to provide information related to troubleshooting. And quick mode is information about the actual data transfer uh, and subsequent communication. So we use those two, uh, two main categories and you're viewing different types of information. So IPsec monitor or the Windows firewall with advanced security snap-in are my two primary locations to monitor IPsec activity. Let's take a look by way of a demonstration how to use these utilities.